Hey guys, it's been a while, and I haven't really posted a video in a while, except for that one where I was telling you about how I want to post videos and how my life's changed, and I'm getting married soon. Well, it's coming up soon. It's in February, but uh, right now I'm doing nothing. I'm sitting right here on my couch watching Scotty Kramer vlogs. And that's about it. I do need to shave though. Look at this. Look at this messy, messy thing. It looks like dirt. It looks like I just didn't wash my face or something. Oh yeah, but I did get in the couch. I don't know if you guys can tell. Look at this. Look at this couch. Beautiful. Brand new except for I sit on it a lot and sleep on it a lot. I do a lot of sleeping on it. It's just so comfy. It's so soft. Like here, I wonder if I can like look at this, look. Look how much that goes down. Look at I don't know if that translates well on camera, but that's what it is. Uh, but brand new. I got it at, at Jordan's Furniture. Got the Mets right there. Oh yeah, and those are all my antique cameras. Look at I got, I got, I think I got High 8 right there. I don't know all the names of them. I know I got Brownie. Brownie, uh, oh this is Kodak. Oh yeah, Kodak Brownie. 8mm movie camera and ooh, that wasn't in focus let me zoom out that would probably help right there we go come on keep a zooming keep a zooming there we go yeah let me focus on it it doesn't like it oh there we go yeah a brownie 8mm movie camera is that a 2? I don't know what that is. Yeah, two. And then I got this bad boy, which is my favorite. It's a mint condition. Like, I have the box and everything for it. Uh, this is... It's called the Sportster. And it's, uh... Is this also an 8mm? I have no clue. All I know is they look cool, and that's why I have them. And then I got this one, which is... Uh, a Bell and Howl, I think that's how you say it. Super 8, that's what that is, yeah. Lens zoom, everything. This one's pretty cool. It's not in great condition. Uh, there's batteries that go on, on this side, down here. That someone left in it, I guess. So they're all nasty and corroded in there. And then this is actually my family's camera. This is my dad's camera. Um, it's the same as the other one, it just, I think this is a newer model, or a higher up, higher grade model. The only thing this is missing is this. Other than that, it's in really good condition. There's a piece of paper usually right there, I'll show you on this one. This one has everything, see, has the, has the, all the settings and stuff like that for, like, bright, bright sun, hazy, cloudy, all that kind of stuff. Then, we go over here, oh, I got like the, the case back there too see that's what this one goes in but anyways yes back over here oh these are from my nieces they built these and said can we put them up here so you can play with them next time we're over anyways they're awesome but anyway oh look at this one this is one my niece made she literally made that she's only like six years old that, that's such that, look at that look at that she has a, such a creative mind like I didn't help her at all with that Anyways, I got another Bell and Howe, but this is like a regular photo camera. Obviously a Polaroid that doesn't spit out the film for some reason. It works, it flashes, it doesn't work though, in, in a way. Then I got a Canon, it's just a basic one. I don't, I think, it's not like the A something, whatever it's supposed to be. Like I said, I don't know too much about these. And then this one, I got for like a dollar at Goodwill. I don't know if it's a good camera or not. They all, these, these two work. I actually have film in this one I have to get developed. Uh, other than that, that's about it. Oh, I have this old license plates, an old record player. Then I got that, I actually got for Dom, so Dom, if you're watching this, come and get it, it's yours. I just know you like Frank Sinatra, so that's why I grabbed it. And 
and I got another license plate from DJ. And this thing is really cool. It's a little puzzle. You try to get that bolt unscrewed, well, the bolt and nut unscrewed from each other, and then you can get everything out of it. Then you have to put it all back together, too, which is really difficult. I think Dom's the one that actually figured out how to get it back together. I figured out how to get it off. And then, see, Gabs, if you're watching, you painted that picture. And my brother got me this from El Salvador? I don't even know. No, I'm sorry. What does it say on the bottom? If anybody can read that, it's right there on the bottom of that. <laughs> Ecuador? I think it was Ecuador. And that's about it. I don't have much over here. I got like another case for for this bad boy right here. And I also for this one and this one I have the projector for it, which I think is down here. Yep, it's right here. I have the projector, it's right there. That was also my, my dad's. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, and for one of the one of my cameras, I have the original box. This is cool. This is this is this is what I really like about this. I have the original box. It's not in great condition. I'm probably really close to my face, I'm sorry. Let me put this up for a second. Yeah. Wow, that lighting's horrible. Okay, we'll go back this way. So the this is what I love about this camera. So I got the original box with the with the a flash or a light or whatever it is. I'll show you guys. Let me let me prop this up somewhere. Okay, so I got the original box. Let me pull it this way. So I got the original box. And I need to make this better. I lost the freaking adapter screw that screws into the t the head of my uh my Joby Gorillapod, uh, Gorillapod, yeah, Gorillapod, Gorilla Tripod. Uh, so I can't screw the head back on. I got the head, but I can't get the head back on it. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. So I got the original box. Let me just show you that again. Original box. See, original box. Wait, wait, what's that? I think it's the original box. Oh no, this isn't the original box. But anyways, this is one of the boxes that I came with really nice but anyways I got the, the light that comes with it no it is the original box because I got all the original paperwork and stuff see let's see if it focuses and there it is that's the camera I have so yeah this is the original box um but I got the light that goes for it Look at that, with the bulb in it I don't know if it works I've never plugged it in oh and I should try that today but anyways back to it. I got the thing that goes on the bottom of it so it screws in and then you screw the light in to this and this goes on and the lights so you can do something the dark then I got the just showed you before but I got the Bell and Howe Filmo camera accessories book so it shows everything in it like there's all these different things in it they have that they have that, so it looks like a lot of different lenses or something. Or filters, I don't know what that is, let me read it. Uh, close up attachment. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, it's, uh, it gives you closer, closer looks. Um, yeah, different, different, looks like different lenses. Oh, filters, these are the filters. You're gonna focus, uh, <laughs> yeah, this has different filters and stuff. That's pretty cool to have. Then we have, looks like another one. Oh, for the projectors. So if I wanted to buy a projector for it, I would know what to get. Isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> Anyways, then I got the open door to pictures of perfection with your Bells and Health Filmo. 8mm camera and it looks like wood it's pretty cool it went all out on this one and it just shows you like uh, camera speed 8 the shutter speed would be 1 1 in 1 17th second 1 1 17th seconds I don't, I don't know if you guys read it I don't know the, I don't know the terminology if I read this it probably probably would tell me everything I need to know but it's, this thing's in like perfect condition it's like it's never been touched 
Then I have the immometer protector. I don't really know what this is. Oh, is it? <laughs> Congratulations, you made a wise decision on selecting the Filmo motion picture equipment. Precision made to give you professional results with amateur ease. That's me, I'm an amateur. Well, that's pretty cool. I wonder if this person who originally had this bought the projector with it too. Because there's a lot of things about projectors in here. But I don't know. Alright, so then there's more. There's more. This thing came with like everything. Then it has the has the the instructions or whatever this is for the light. Like look at it. That's the light. That's crazy. And then I got one more. If you want better pictures, movies, or stills, you will want to read an interesting booklet with this intri intriguing title. Do you commit these crimes? Do you commit these crimes? <laughs> I'm assuming that's like headroom, nose room, like framing the picture right and stuff like that, which I'm probably doing wrong completely right now. And then it's Hollywood Productions Court. It's in Chicago. I wonder if that's still there. If anybody wants to look it up, there you go. Is it gonna focus? There you go. If anybody wants to look it up, there it is. Last but not least, I have the original receipt. <laughs> Let's see. It says, uh, filmer, it has everything, uh, everything listed. So, Filmo Sportster camera, they paid 102.61. Which camera still costs that much. Uh, the camera case, $8.70. Cases do not cost that much anymore. Uh, Coda Chroma Film, so I guess the, the film for it, $3.76. Uh, they did buy the projector. That's something I don't have then. So the projector, uh, the Filmo Master 400 projector, they paid $177.45. Wow. I don't know if that's cheap or not. Um, the DAW light screen. Oh, so they bought a projection screen too, I think. For $15.75. Then they bought a hundred... What did that say? Something postcards for eight dollars. Two photo flood bulbs, two dollars and forty-eight cents. One projectors bulb for four dollars and sixty-two cents. Altogether, they paid three hundred and twenty-three dollars and thirty-seven cents. And this was in, I'll tell you right now, March eighth, nineteen forty-eight. What? It's two thousand seventeen. 1948. Wow. That's a signature. Oh, I'll just show you the whole thing. There you go. You can freeze frame it and you can look it over. There you go. Thanks. Probably complete darkness right here. But thanks for uh, joining me on this. And if I don't pick up the camera again, I would like to know if you guys like this video. So give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe, and also if you want notifications of when I post like a new video or vlog or whatever, uh, hit that, that bell on the side and you'll get a notification and you can watch my videos. And make sure you share them too. Alright, thanks, bye.